Hey everybody, this is Quinnet Gamer here and I am back once again with Let's Replay Crash Bash and this is part 7. And moving on from the disaster that was Embolism, we are now going on into Melt Panic next. So let's do this. Yeah, I'm so glad that I finally got that done, like honestly. I, like, when I played Embolism, I honestly thought I was facing Nitrous Oxide with all the AI players being there now that I look back on it. But anyway, we moved on from that, we won't be coming back until the uh, Relic Challenges. So here's Mel Panic. So essentially what we've got to do here is same rules, but we've got to uh, beware of Uka Uka this time. And the weight is the only item this time. And Uka Uka will uh, pass on some devastating effects, which I'm not going to demonstrate right here, just in case. Let's see how hard the AI is here. Oh, okay, right here. Uh, Koala Kong ended up being frozen there. Oh, god, okay. Okay, Rillaroo, get- no, Rillaroo! Oh my freaking god, are we going with the same thing again with Rillaroo? You only get special treatment. As I said the last part, screw you Rillaroo. I'm not angry enough to completely say what I meant. Right, get Cortex off, he's the easiest to push off. Alright. Oh my god, no, fuck! Mmm, are we repeating this crap again with Rillaroo? Come on, Rillaroo, get frozen. Yes! Get him off. Thank you. No! Oh my god, Cortex! <clears throat> right, and because I'm off, they deliberately fall off on purpose. Wow, just amazing. I mean, I will say this much. Melt Panic, it's... It's probably my... My least favourite is probably the basic polar push, to be honest with you, because nothing really that much happens. But this one, it's a lot more unpredictable. Get off. Thank you. Vengeance is mine. Right. But as I was saying, um, a lot more happens in this because of Uka Uka being quite unpredictable, melting the ice, hence why it's melt panic. I can also, like, you know, cause other AI players to be frozen. Oh no. Get off. I kind of want Cortex off last, honestly. Oh, never mind. No, you don't. Haha. -ha. You're forgetting Qualcomm got the same power as you have. Oh no, shoot. Don't use the power to send myself off, though. No, I said, oh, fuck! Well, we're off to a great start in this game, aren't we? Oh. No, I'm not, I'm not going into Uku's, Ukuka's beam because it could be a trap. I don't want to. Oh my! F oh. <laughs> Why? Do you know? Let's see who wins. I want to see who actually wins in this one. I'm going to predict this uh, Cortex. Come on, Cortex. I'm, wa I'm wanting you to win. I don't want either. No! God damn it! Well. Oh. God damn it. Right. Let's go again. This time, let's try to be a bit more careful, shall we? Let's try to be a bit more careful. And aim my shots right this time, or aim my push correctly. Like that, for example. There we go. Koala Kong's off. Now I need to get Rillaroo off. Oh my god! Rillaroo, stop dodging me all the time, please. There we go. Oh, okay. That was kind of weird, what just happened there. Tiny. You didn't even see that, like, you know, when, when he went into Ukuka's beam, Rillaroo, he sort of just stood still. And just... What, and he shrunk, and then he just immediately fell off. That was kind of weird. Oh, come on, Cortex. Oh my god! Right, I was gonna say, what the hell, guys? Oh god. Could it be possible that Ukuka might free... Oh, I was gonna say, what if he freezes Koala Kong? Haha. Now things are going much better. This time I'm actually being more methodical and careful in naming my shots. Oh wow, Koala Kong didn't even try and save himself there. What what was up with that? Was he giving up? That's very un unlike you, Koala Kong. You're always very persistent. Oh no, damn it! Oh damn. That was bad luck there. I ended up going into Uku because being by accident I got frozen. Now, 
I think there's another form he turns you into. I think it's a giant snowball. We haven't seen it yet. But um, hopefully we get to see it at some point here. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, Rillo has got the way right. I need to get away from him. He needs to keep his way on him at all times. Because uh, Cortex will be the easiest to push off. Or at the very least, he, he would have been a lot easier if he went into Kuka's beam. But he didn't. Oh no. Oh, come on, Cortex. Oh no, damn it. Oh. God damn it, Cortex. A part of me regrets replaying this game there because of all this rage, inducing rage that I'm having to go through. <laughs> right, come on, get Kuala Kong off, thank you. Ah, here's uh, the snowball. Cortex ended up being captured into it. Do you know what? I'm kind of glad that he got caught in that because... Oh no! Oh, gee, was right, okay, that anyway. Aha! There we go, finally. I'm glad the Cortex got caught in that snowball because that means that he would not win. So, well done, Ukuka, for freezing Cortex into that snowball. Oh, in the end of the snowball, you can still technically move, I think. But not as much. Hold on, so I just need to... Okay, it seems to be all fine. Okay, right. So that didn't take too long to get the trophy. It only took me like six minutes. I mean, well, I technically lost the first time because I was being too impatient and rushed way too much and trying to get people off. But this one, I cannot afford to be too patient because the gem challenge, you only have, I think... 20... You're kidding me. 25 seconds to get them off. Oh my god. Right. Okay, I need to get you off. There we go. Same with you. Oh my god. Get off. No. Bad. Off you go. No. Oh no. Damn it. If only Cortex had stayed where he was, I could have won that first time. Oh, that was so close. Do you know what? Get off. Oh, ho, ho. that was really, really good of Ukuka to do that. Oh no, that's bad though. No, no. How the hell am I st- Oh, crap. Okay. I don't know how the hell I was still alive from being shrunk like that. I thought Cortex was going to push me off for sure there, but he didn't. Somehow... Somehow he did not push me off. Maybe it's because he didn't have the full charge, but still... Yes! I've got it. There we go. That was pretty easy. That I think that was like my third try that I got the gem there. That was uh, very quick, actually. <laughs> Honestly, if things go really quick here, Mel Panic, I might actually be able to do the next minigame in this part. So the next one is the Crystal Challenge. Now, if I remember correctly, this one can be a bit of a pain, but it's not too difficult, I think. Oh, actually, no, it might be the hardest out of the Crystal Challenges in the Polar Games, because this one, uh, you, you're restricted um, on this one. You have to win without the ability to save yourself from falling. Oh, dear. This can go very badly. So I have to stay away from the edge at all times. No! Oh god! See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You cannot save yourself from falling. And also, if Cortex haven't pushed me to the edge there, I could have possibly won that first time. Oh god, no, 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 no. No! God damn it. Well, there was no way to save myself from falling either way, so I would have failed that either way, even if, if I didn't have that restricted uh, challenge there. Oh my... Get away. I like how Kuala Kong was just standing there, like, just watching. He wasn't even doing anything that attempt. <laughs> oh no, God damn it! Oh... But then again, Ukuka is on the bad guy's team, isn't he? He's one to just... He's not on my side anymore, technically. Well, oh, god damn it! That was my fault there for pushing myself towards the edge. You know, kind of a... Right. Just stay away from him at all times. Do not charge into me. Please don't do it. Thank you. No! Yes! Haha! -ha. Well, that was easy. How long did that take me? Only like a couple minutes? 
It only took me about two minutes to win that, that crystal there. Okay, fair enough. Um, since that went very quickly, I might as well do the next minigame. Why not? And the next minigame is the next uh, Poco minigame, which is El Poco Loco. Now this one's quite a lot of fun actually. I have to say, out of all the Pogo minigames besides um, Pogo A Gogo, this one is probably my favourite uh, Pogo game out of all of them because it's got um, one of the other Crash characters in here, um, which is Ripper Roo up at the top, uh, the top centre there. So everything's the same except for just uh, uh, Ripper Roo, uh, Ripper Roo's attacks. And the arrows um, don't appear until he lays one down randomly. So he launches a TNT attacks, which will stun you. Okay, I'm gonna be careful here, right? I'm gonna have to stay here. Yeah, there we go. Wise move for me to stay there. And eventually he does lay down an arrow. Like, that goes in uh, four directions. I don't know when he does it, but um, I'm sure he'll do it at some point. Also, the... The uh, uh, method that you had to use in Pogo Gogo, you can still use it here. It doesn't get you points, but it gets you more uh, colours. Oh, now that the four-way arrow was actually laid down there earlier. Somebody actually used it, but um, you never really got to see it. Oh, there it is there again. The grey um, arrow there. Oh, wow, Cortex got really lucky there with that. But so far, I'm doing okay in this one, on my first try here, or the first rent. Uh, got over 100 points already. I think it's safe to say that I think I've got this. There's no way that they're going to win. So the AI seem to be a bit easier on me um, on this attempt. They don't seem to be really that, that difficult here. Can I get this next box before I... Oh, no, not quite. Never mind. I was hoping to get a really good high score there, but I mean, I would have won either way, but... Probably just for bracken rights, I was trying to get the high score. <laughs> I'll get that box Cortex, thank you. Let's see who gets stunned by these TNTs. Uh, nobody. I guess uh, they're starting to get smarter, the AI, then they're much kind of worried. Oh no, they all got stunned, right? Okay, maybe they're not as smart as I thought. I've still yet to be stunned by one of these TNTs. Oh, I want that arrow. I want that arrow. Yes. Haha. -ha. And that's a good amount of points I got there because of that. Thank you, Ripper Root, for that. Maybe he's on my side after all. Oh, man, then again, maybe not because Koala Kong ended up getting that right before I did. Maybe he's on nobody's side. Maybe he's just neutral, just doing his job. I don't know how the hell I avoided that missile there. Oh, okay, right. Another opportunity for me to get... A lot more yellow on the board. Oh wow, I essentially destroyed Koala Kong's uh, colours there with that one. Uh, Cortex seems to be the only threat to me right now with the 75 points that he has. But you notice the music that they use for this level as well it is very identical to the Pull the Push music. And to be honest with you, this music is, you know, is quite appropriate for this kind of level. Whereas um, the Polar Panic level, that one didn't quite understand the music choice for that one. Oh, Cortex got that missile before I did. You know what, it doesn't matter. Oh dear, I'm not doing too well so far in points. Mm, maybe shouldn't have gone for that box there. Maybe the AI and they're starting to be smart. Maybe they're realizing that I'm doing very well here and they're teaming up to stop me. Well, then again, they are an Ukuruka's team, so they have to do what they, t they can to stop the bad guys. Or to stop the good guys in this case. That's one thing I would have liked to have noticed. And, you know, Dingo Dial ended up going good in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Whatever happened to Tiny? I know that he technically came back on Crash Bandicoot Crash on the Run, the mobile game, but. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen what happened to Tiny. Like, in this about time. It's a bit of a shame he didn't appear in, in that game, honestly.
I actually did take a sneak peek at Crash Bandicoot 4's um, 106% ending, and honestly, oh god. Well, I got stunned by TNT there for the first time. Oh dear, I'm in trouble. I am in huge trouble now. Crap. Okay, I need to really get a little more points here. Oh, I'm gonna lose this round. Oh no, yeah, I think I've lost. Oh no, I still won. Oh, just barely though. Because they all had, like, really rude. Cortex had 99 points each and Koala Kong 96. But I got the trophy on my first go there, so that was pretty good. So, um, let's do the gem and crystal challenges next. So the gem challenge, hopefully, shouldn't be too hard. Considering I had a lot of success in the trophy challenge, uh, this one shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, I remember taking the sneak peek at under 6% ending and I thought to myself, yeah, there's going to be another crash game coming along. Three, two, one, go. Based on the ending, I probably won't spoil it for those who haven't seen it. In case if I come back to do 106%, but I've seen the ending myself on uh, YouTube, like somebody uploaded it. Oh, actually, I won that again. And another one. And another one. Oh no, God damn it! Well, that's what I get for being too speed uh, frantic, I guess. I don't think. Oh god, no! Well, that was my fault for bouncing into the TNT there. Try not to, oh, didn't manage. Come on, let's uh, try and do this. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. Ripper nearly ended up ruining that, but I got a good amount of points decrease there from that. Let's see if I can maybe keep this up. I hope. Oh my god. No! Crap. Oh, thank goodness, uh, really got stunned there. Right, come on. Oh no! No, no, no! No! Oh no! Oh, if only Ripper had. No, Ripper. Rillaroo. Rill oh my god, now I'm getting the names mixed up. Um, if only Rillaroo really hadn't gotten that one box, I could have won that first try. Never mind. It's okay. I was very close that one time. I should be able to do this in, the, in a few goes at the very least. Unless I somehow get very unlucky. But you never know with this game, it could very well happen. I could get unlucky. So do you know what I want that shoot? Oh, do you know what? That's a good thing I got that there. Oh damn, Cortex essentially wiped out all my colours there. Screw you, Cortex. That's what you get. You get stunned by the TNT. Why are we doing intense points? Okay, we're nearly there. Just hoping that I don't have bad luck. Here. Okay. Come on, just this one box. Oh, there's one more need to collect. And I've got it. I've won. Yeah, that was easy. Second try. I had a feeling that one would be easy. I had a feeling that that one would give me too much trouble and it didn't. So, yeah, there you go. The crystal, though, however, that's going to be a tough one. Because ripper switches his attacks up. And uh, you'll see what I mean. For those who haven't seen this before, then you'll see what I mean. But for those who have played this game, then you'll know what I'm talking about. The way he switches his attacks up are pretty much the... Avoid ripper Nitro attacks. So essentially, what you have to do is stay clear of ripper at all times. You notice the arenas uh, changed uh, to look like the, um, the motorbike levels from Crash Bandicoot 3. Which I think is quite appropriate. So you need to avoid him at all costs. I have noticed on some uh, co-op uh, LPs um, that this can be very, very hard when you're playing with two players. Because you have to you have to make sure that both of you are avoiding Ripper at all costs. Whereas with single player, it's actually a bit easier. But then again, oh crap. Oh no, no! Oh god, there was no way I could have avoided that. Damn. Yeah, if you get hit once, you fail. Wow, that was kind of a dick move by Ripperoo Rip Rip there. To try and do that. <laughs> now he really is trying to turn against me here. 
Oh no. Right, stay away from him. I must stay away from him at all costs. Oh no, no. God damn it. Well, the, I guess the good thing is I can use the... Oh. No! Oh, damn it. And Ripper is laughing at my failure. If only the AI players got eliminated at the same time. If only they got eliminated. Like I did. That maybe made this a bit easier and I win by default. Nah, I'm just joking. I don't want that. That would be far too easy. <laughs> oh, god damn it, Cortex. I wanted those speed shoes. Fair enough, you take them. Yeah, that's how unpredictable Ripper can be when he lays down the nitros right beside you. He can go any direction he damn well pleases. Right, keep an eye on him. Just a bounce the opposite side of him. I just have to keep an eye. I'm not even really... Oh, God, no. Okay, I was going to say, Rilliver's got a lot of points right now. Um, he's the only threat to me right now. Whereas Cortex and Koala Kong aren't even putting in any effort. What right now to try and catch up on me? Uh, maybe better not go for those boxers, just in case. Oh no! Okay, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness. Oh my god! Cortex, you better not screw me over like that. I think I've won. Just hope that Ripper doesn't screw me. Good. Okay. I think that took me a few tries, but I got the crystal at the end, so that's good. Um, do I have enough time to possibly do a snow bash? Mm. I think I might have some time actually to... Or do you know what? Should I leave it? As a short part? I, I think I'll leave it actually. I'll leave it there for today. And we'll leave a snow bash and um, a Metal Fox for another part. So anyway, um, overall I would say that was a good successful part. Overall, I would say. Um, actually, before um, before I forget, actually, let me go and save my game first. Did not want to forget that. There, feel better now. Right. So next time, when I come back with Let's Replay Crash Bash um, Part 8, I will be doing Snow Bash and uh, Metal Fox um, as well, hopefully, uh, dep depending on how much luck I have on both of them. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching this uh, Let's Replay part of uh, Crash Bash. Um, please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and feel free to hit the subscribe button as well for more content coming up in the future. So until then everybody, this is Kleiner Gaming here signing off, and I shall see you all again next time for more Let's Replay Crash Bash. Till then, goodbye.